Guys, what's going on? I am back with the Immaculate Candle and we are finishing up the series Letting Go, okay? It's a series because part two is coming out right now as we speak. Um, sorry that I broke it up into two parts. Something happened that I didn't plan on happening. Hence why the video ended a little abruptly, but here we go. I told y'all I'm getting the hang of this, so stop the judgment. We don't judge here. There's a judge-free zone on Sajadi's channel. Our channel. Okay, so where were we? Disassociating with memories and feelings, validating how you feel, whatever, whatever. Let's get into the good stuff, the last few bullets, okay? So also, remember that better days are coming to you, okay? I'm totally gonna make a video about the universe and spirituality and being in tune with yourself and the world, but that video is gonna come a little bit later, so if you want an in-depth on that, you're gonna have to wait just, just maybe a couple of days. Hopefully it can be up by tomorrow or later today. Um, but better things will come. So with this mindset, positive input makes positive output. And your input is what you're putting into the universe. So if you're thinking positive thoughts, if you're feeling positive things, and if you're exerting positive energy, whether that be verbal or body language, either way, the universe is going to receive that and then, you know, calculate it, take it in, and then push it back out to you. And pushing it back out to you, the amount of time it takes to hit you is relevant on how positive you were, or positive neutral or negative you were, um, how hard it hits you, whether it's good or bad, you know, and um, like how much it impacts you, how good it'll be, all these things factor in the input. And the input is important because how are you gonna expect to get positive things out of the universe if you're just spewing negativity all the time? That doesn't make sense logically, does it? If it does, go ahead and comment, let me read that, and then make fun of you. But if it doesn't and you stand in solidarity with what I'm saying, let me just break it down a little bit further. So, when I use my system of NEP, I, <laughs> NEP, I use it to say, is what I'm about to say, or think for lack of a better word, necessary, educational, factual, or positive is what I'm gonna say nef is it I don't know so I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna think and using this mindset promotes a lot of thinking it promotes overthinking it promotes um, second guessing it promotes um, afterthought forethought whatever but it gets you stimulated and along with one of those exercises that kind of brings you back into reality like oh what can I hear right now what can I smell right now it just makes you super hyper self-aware just like those little practices those little questions to yourself so with that being said just always think positive even when things aren't going your way you have the worst day in the world and then you come home just to finally stub your toe right before you climb into bed just think today was challenging but tomorrow will be better don't don't dwell on the negativity of today. Don't dwell on what had happened. Just breathe it in. It's already gone because what people don't understand is things are gone by the moment that they're here. Everything is fleeting. Everything is fleeting. So if you let it go and let it flee you while it wants to instead of harboring it and holding it in, that's where emotionally charged tendencies come from and that's where anger issues come from and that's where depression comes from and harboring. Don't harbor it. Let it all go. Let it all go. Let it go if it's sadness, anger, happiness, um, laughs. Just be yourself and be outward with it. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, um, if you're furthermore going to be positive, you have to make a clean break. Whether, like I said, it's an inanimate object. You can't say, okay, you know, I have the whole series. I'll, I'll just throw out all of them except this one because this one is... No. Clean break. No backslides. No slip-ups. You have to just... You have to exert like I tell you. So, with that being said, hi series, all of you is going to the garbage because I am not a child anymore and this is part of my childhood. That's how you say goodbye to an inanimate object. Hi Candle, you're almost out because I've lit you for like four days straight. I'll miss you, but once this light burns out, so does your time in my house. Trash can, recycle bin, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, guys, inanimate objects are a little bit easier as long as they don't hold so much sentimental value. But a lot of people get hoarding tendencies, including me. I'm cleaning out my closet earlier. Um, I was cleaning it earlier. I'm going to finish cleaning it today or tomorrow. But it's just we tend to throw things around. We tend to treat our room and our spaces like we treat our mind and like we treat ourselves. So messy room, messy brain. And as you can see, my room looks pretty okay from what you can see, the surfaces. My floor is clean. My bed is not made, but I just woke up and I'm trying to get y'all some content. So stop, stop talking. Mm. Anyways, 
<laughs> Last but not least, um, you know, making sure it's a clean break with an animate person or object, right? An animal or something like that, or human, I guess, if we're dealing with them. What you want to do is make sure you block them on all social medias. Make sure they are not able to contact you. Let the people who are in your life that know about them know that you don't want to hear their name anymore unless it's in context of healing or you bring it up. Um, and then let your people who are around you helping you know that you don't want to backslide and they should be, um, they should be encouraging you to move on. Like just tell them, Hey, I'm probably going to want to talk about this person. Kind of just shut me down. Um, or maybe change this top, change the subject topic. I just merged those words. Shove. Okay. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of letting go. Um, don't forget to be silent when it comes to this animate object, this person. Don't forget to hold your tongue. If you see them out in public by very, very minuscule chance, ignore them. You will have all the power if you ignore them. And if you want them back, they will come back. When you let go of things in the universe, if they truly want to be with you, they will come back. That sounds kind of cheesy, but it's very, very true. It's all about manifestation and positivity. And like I said, universe videos, spirituality, manifestation videos, all of that's coming soon. And I'm totally down to make those. I kind of have to make a layout on how those videos are going to be broken down for you guys. But um, with that being said, this was letting things go. I can have a part three made on escaping anger and sadness because they're two separate pages, letting things go. This is what we just did for part one and two. And then I can make part three on escaping anger and sadness, okay? I might get started on that in just a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed. The journal will make many features on the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the lessons that the journal has in them. I enjoy reading them even though I wrote them. Writing them just reminds me that I'm human too and we all make mistakes. But you have to embrace your mistakes as much as you embrace your flaws and your sins and all that stuff. Because without your mistakes and flaws, there wouldn't be any lessons. There wouldn't be any education. There wouldn't be any depth or learning. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really like surface level conversations or surface level thinking. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really want y'all to come back. I miss all of you on TikTok. I'm really sad that my audience is kind of smaller now. I understand y'all are all so supportive and y'all are going to be here for me no matter what, which I love, 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 but I'm still trying to transition everybody over here. And by everybody, I mean like less than a third of who was over there to over here. You know what I'm saying? Because it's unrealistic to get them all over here by June 19th. But do me a favor, share the word, maybe post on TikTok about me. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even asking for much, but go ahead and check out the bio. Go ahead and check out the bio if you're interested. I know this kind of turned into a little rant, uh, ramble at the end here, because I was trying to close it out, but I don't have an outro or an intro yet, so you all just going to have to deal with it. And if you're not watching to the end, why do you even subscribe? Hmm? Hmm? All right, guys. With that being said, I will see y'all soon. I'm going to try to make some more videos for y'all. And I hope you're enjoying them. Comment if you like. Please drop a like if you like, because that lets me know what you guys are interested in. I got my first dislike last night. Made me... <laughs> so... <laughs> Made me cry happiness tears. Because if people don't dislike my content, then that just means I can't learn and evolve. So... What are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Okay? So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you'll come back again soon. I really hope you'll check out the other videos i posted so far. And I hope you're enjoying the YouTube journey. No edits, no cuts, just raw Sydney all the time. A little too much for me, but... If y'all like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.